Okay, I think I'm ready to start filming. Kevin. Kevin. Yes. Kevin Michael? Uh, yeah. Who's this? This is the ghost of Kevin's past. The who? Uh, the who? The what? The who? The ghost of Kevin's past. Uh, well, what the freak is that? I'm a ghost! And this is your life, bitch! Huh? It all started with a young reservist named Tom, who met a pretty lady named Marilyn, and soon after decided to get married. Later on, with a five-year-old son of their own, they decided to adopt a six-month-old baby boy, who they named Kevin. Kevin's older brother, Sean, was excited to have a younger brother to play with and look after. Kevin was a devilish little scamp, always into things and usually getting into trouble. Would he be on the nice list or the naughty list? Only Santa would know. As a child, Kevin enjoyed the outdoors, blowing bubbles during springtime, or playing in the snowdrifts with his brother Sean in cold, snowy, upstate New York. Summers were filled with camping, fishing, and amusement parks. As the school years passed and Kevin grew, his parents decided to adopt another child into their family. And his new brother, Mike, quickly became a fast friend. In his teenage years, Kevin was already training for vacations to come, in the sun, sand, and on the beach. Kevin was always an active kid, running as a child and biking as a teenager. Traveling around was always in his blood. Soon, two wheels were traded in for four, and his love for cars became a lifelong passion. Another passion most of his life has been horses, Passion and the thrill of competition would be the driving force of his life and lead to many awards. His love for horses continued through his volunteer work with disabled children. And soon, his love of travel would begin with a trip to Washington, D.C. to visit his brother, Sean. After graduating high school, Kevin attended the Eastman School of Music. A love of music and performing was instilled in him by his mother, Marilyn, who was an elementary school music teacher. In September of 1996, Kevin was married in a large Italian-Irish wedding, attended by hundreds of family and friends. A year later, the couple would be devastated when Kevin, at age 23, was diagnosed with stage three cancer. Through it all, Kevin never lost his sense of humor, but sadly, the couple's marriage did not survive. Single and cancer free, Kevin came to terms with his life as a gay man. Kevin's family never wavered in their love and support, and fun with friends on the weekends brought Kevin great pleasure and relaxation. Kevin was now more focused on his career. And in the fall of 2006, Kevin met Frank. In the following July, Kevin vacationed in Italy for two weeks with friends, while Frank was home missing him terribly. A trip planned by Kevin's bestie, Joe, whether tossing a coin in the Trevi Fountain to sailing to Capri, 
Frank never left Kevin's mind. Shortly after returning home, the couple decided to move in together. They rented a lovely townhouse and made it their own. And a year later, they bought their first house together, a cute little red Cape Cod. Right after, they added a cute little Chihuahua to their family, named Cece. And later on, little Delilah. The only thing missing now was their right to marry. They joined the protests and marched for equality as much as they could. Kevin even traveled to the state capitol to help lobby and fight for the rights of all gay citizens in New York State. But in 2010, another battle would have to be fought when Frank became seriously ill. Through it all, Kevin stayed by his side and acted as his advocate for all his medical and legal needs. Thankfully, they had made out their wills, health care proxies, and power of attorneys back in 2009 as to protect themselves because they could not marry. And in June of 2011, New York State passed marriage equality, and the rights of every citizen in the state to marry would now be granted. Now recognized in the state of New York, with marriage license in hand, Kevin and Frank set the date. In October, a month before the wedding, his work family at the hair salon threw him a shower. Family, friends, and clients alike shared in the joy of the upcoming event. They wed on November 11, 2011, five years to the day they met, surrounded by close family and friends. Happily, they exchanged rings, even though Frank was not the same man as he was when Kevin met him. Kevin had made all the arrangements, restaurant, menu, wedding cake, invitations, and room decor. Two years later, in 2013, Kevin and Frank rejoined the world of cruising on a carnival victory with their best friends, Joe and Christine. On that vacation, Kevin combined his love of cruising with his passion for horses. And in 2014, they boarded the Carnival Conquest, followed by the NCL Gem in 2015. That same year, they sold their little red house in the city and purchased a new larger home, all in one day. The next year, 2016, brought them aboard the Carnival Valor. And in the fall of 2016, while helping Frank with his family tree, on Ancestry.com, Kevin decided to do a DNA test to find his lineage. Six weeks later, he was reunited with his biological mother, Sylvia. And a few days later, he met his half-sisters, Crystal and Shannon. The next week brought him more family ties when he met his biological father, Danny, and half-sister, Raina. Sadly, he would never meet his half-brother, Nick, killed in Afghanistan in 2009. But his legacy lives on through his wife and kids and the memories they shared. After the past hectic year, Frank took Kevin on another cruise in 2017, revisiting their favorite ship, the NCL Gem, and their YouTube channel, Cruising with Wheels, was born. Oh my God, I may never recover. Oh, that was way too much. Oh. What's going on? What's happening? Are you done yet with this? Done? Oh my God, my life just passed before my eyes. Huh? Oh, that must have been a sight. Oh, there was a ghost in my life, and oh my God. <laughs> a ghost in your life, passing before you. Oh, yeah, and you were there too. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. I'm everywhere. What?